The high school football playoffs are rolling on and teams are just a few steps away from a chance at a gold ball up in Oxford. Six coast teams in action tonight, some in the third round, others in the second round. Regardless of the round, all the winners move on to South State next week. We will start tonight up in 6A up at Lee Triplet as Pascagoula heads up to Picayune to take on the reigning 5A state champs in the maroon tie. Opening drive for Picayune inside the five Nike Ratcliffe gets the handoff up the gut, barrels his way in through, breaks the plane for the opening score of the game. Tide leads seven nothing. After Gula three and out, Tide backed up on second and 30. Doesn't matter. Quarterback Brady Robertson finds Jeremiah Conti out in the flat. He's got a ton of space ahead of him. That's another score. Uh, they would lead 14 to nothing. Into the second quarter now, Tide just continuing to roll. Chris Davis up the gut, untouched. Picking you takes a 21 nothing lead. A little later, third and goal now. Gula coming up with a big stop with a host of Panthers to keep Picayune out of the end zone, but they're looking to go for it on fourth down. Robertson with a quick flip out to Ratcliffe. Tide would go up 28 to nothing after that pass in the corner of the end zone. They would take a 35 to zip lead into the break. They take this one 38 nothing Tide headed back to South State. They'll take on West Jones. And over in 4A in past Christian, the Pirates playing host to Columbia. And as we know, it's not a Friday night without Mr. Matt D. Gregorio. Matt, the Pirates with a tough test tonight at home and a lot on the line. Yeah, Blake, it, happy Friday to you, by the way. One of the last ones of the season for us football-wise. Uh, yeah, you mentioned it. Two 4A uh, teams, they're still in the mix for the state title race. One of them at home tonight. That was past Christian. The Pirates were seeking a first-ever trip to South State. A tough test making their way to the coast. It's undefeated Columbia Wildcats. They were trying to stop pass and keep their perfect season going. We'll pick this one up on the game's opening drive. The Pirates stone Columbia at the line and force a punt. And then the first play from scrimmage for pass. The ball gets snapped over quarterback Lad Scriber's head. That's not going to help as Trey Lewis jumps on it. And Columbia takes all the momentum right back. On the ensuing Wildcats drive, Colin Haney fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, and picks up a big gain all the way down inside the opposing 25-yard line. A few plays later, Jeremiah Foxworth, he caps off the drive with a touchdown run of his own. And the extra point, no good, however. So Columbia goes up 6 to nothing, following a pass punt. Haney goes back to the offense and goes back to the air again. He goes and gets it all the way up there. Look at A.J. Lewis there, comes down with it. He's uh, still trying to pick the four-star if he's going to go Ole Miss State. We'll see who he goes to. Haney keeps it himself for the score. Two-point attempt is good. Wildcats take a 14-zip lead. After another pass punt, Karsten Mooney strips the ball, but it falls right into the hands of Columbia's Darian Peters. That results in a first down for Columbia. And a few minutes later, Haney connects with Foxworth for the score. Columbia continues their perfect season. They eliminate pass by way of a 42 to 27 or 42 to 7 victory over the Pirates Blake. Matt, thank you. Now for some of our Road Warriors, one team remains in 5A. That's the Gaucher Gators. For those highlights, we'll bring in a newcomer to the show. We're so glad that he's here. You've seen him on our digital desk for the halftime show. We've gone from halftime to game time now for Mr. Dylan Jones. Dylan, welcome to the show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Blake. It's a little different. All these cameras around instead of just one camera, but we'll make it work anyway. So last year, Gaucher football had never gone past the second round. Tonight, they head to Eagle Stadium in Rankin County with a chance to make back to back appearances in South State. We picked this one up with the Gators already up seven, but the Eagles swoop in with a quick response. Luke Reed sends it over the middle to Brian Davis. He picks up his feet, slips out of the tackle and takes off for the end zone. That's seven on the board for the Eagles, but this one was back and forth. Trey Irving takes a snap, pitches it to Solomon Baggett, hits the outside, sprints it out for the touchdown. The Eagles now looking to answer back. They take it back through the air this time around. Reed finds Davis, the duo strikes again, turns, makes his way for the six. The Gators didn't travel that far just to give it back to him, though Irving steps back looking for an open man here, and he spots Kelvin Beavers, who pulls in the pass for the touchdown, and Florence makes a monster comeback late, but it falls just, sh just shy. Gaucher takes it 36-34. That makes it back-to-back -back South State appearances. Dylan, thank you so much. More teams going to South State and down in 1A, Resurrection hitting the road north as well in a very tough test in round three. They took on Velma Jackson. The Falcons have not tasted defeat yet this year. The Eagles hoping to change that, but this was all Falcons early on. Check out Gavin Griffin. Hits the spin cycle on his way to the end zone for six, breaking a bunch of tackles, finishing that one off 
in the end zone. In the second quarter now, Griffin once again cannot be brought down, just barrels his way through. The speedy senior again finishes a very tough run with another six points as the Falcons would extend their lead. The Eagles trying to get on the board. Late quarterback Luke Schnorr going to drop back, sees no one, going to call his own number, breaking a few tackles of his own. He's finally down just shy of the goal line. Bryce Brown would eventually finish that off and punch it in for resurrection. But the Falcons, just too much for the Eagles tonight. They keep that undefeated season going. They take this one 40 to 13. And once again, back in 4A real quick, Poplarville on the road tonight as well over in Lawrence County. Poplarville with a dominant second half. They pull away from the Cougars. They take it 44 to 20. The Hornets will take on Columbia. Ends the South State title game next Friday.